Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing my penultimate range test because I've only got one more to do. So today I'm going to be testing out the copper versus aluminium versus brass Yaggies um, and see which one gives the best signal. And then the next one will be the para Yaggies, which I do have a set of those. So I'm not going to spend ages talking about it, I'm just going to get on with it and see which one gives the best signal and range. Right, so obviously we've got a Mavic Mini, full batteries, and we have aluminium, brass and then copper. So let's get it up in the air and see uh, how this one goes. Right guys, so we're just going to uh, make sure that it's in airplane mode, which it is. And we're going to flick over and we're going to make sure that we put it in a manual channel. Um, if you've not seen that video where I do test to see whether a manual channel is better than auto, then don't forget to check that out. Link will be in the description below. So we are running on channel 1. And we have all on screen at once um, so we have aluminium brass and copper and in the bottom right corner um, I've literally just put a little video feed up just so you can see a clean version so I've tried to get these in as sync as as much sync as possible um, I'm having to do this as a voiceover um, purely because it's so much easier to do it that way um, rather than commentary on three and most of the time I do f sort of fly out um, as you're fully aware um, and then I'll just fly back and then do a different video but for this one as we're comparing three I thought what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it all on screen at once so hopefully you prefer that so we are doing quite well up to 70 meters as quickly as possible making it as fair a test as what I can possibly think of and as you can see on the brass and the copper so I did aluminium first then I went to brass then I went to copper um, and I tried my very hardest to follow the exact same um, path on all of them I'm missing around with my speeds there on the uh, aluminium one So we brought the uh, thousand meter going up to 1100 meters um, obviously the copper took me a little bit of a while to uh, get going we're a little bit behind on that one um, purely because we are uh, trying to get the same path meters coming up and that's interesting on the uh, aluminium Yaggies we've got a little uh, weak signal warning there um, but as you can see the RC controller um, up in the top right hand corner um, showed full so a little bit of a strange one but is what it is just testing out the uh, gimbal on the copper Yaggies there 1600 meters in You can see guys, I do uh, test out the gimbal at various points just to make sure we're uh, getting a decent feed. Doing actually really well for battery on these flights. The, the window is actually behind me um, on this, so uh, we did have to fight the wind a little bit on the way back, but that's the trade-off. I wanted to bring you this uh, video, so risk my drone once again, but it's all, it's all in the name of science, I'm sure. You can see on the uh, aluminium one there, uh, fluctuating between 70 meters and 72 meters. So we are actually getting blown about a fair bit. Two thousand eight hundred meters. Um, all three materials, um, metals, whichever you wish, uh, are given as a great signal. Um, GPS uh, low signal warning on the brass ones there, 
Um, I did have actually that on a previous flight, but um, again, it's a strange warning because our GPS satellites are all locked in at the top and there's plenty of them. So hopefully you guys think I did a good job following the same path. You can see they're pretty much as they are. The best I could think to have done. Just to try and keep this a, a very fair test. So as you can see on the brass, that signal is starting to uh, drop out a little bit. Um, and the same on the aluminium. Um, around 3,600 meters, we're starting to get that low signal. What's actually interesting as well is what you can see in the corner. So if you look at the bottom right, our drone is already in that place on the aluminium yaggies. Um, but if you look at the bottom left feed, which is the telephone signal, you can see, uh, which is the telephone screen recording, just how much lag you actually do get. Um, quite incredible, really. So, just to let you know what happened on the aluminium Yaggies, okay. Um, cut long story short, we reached our limit and we could not get, we could not cancel the return to home, basically, um, because we had such poor signal. On the brass, cut long story short, that was clean and clear, we lost connection. Um, and a very similar thing on the copper Yaggies as well. So what happened with the coppers is we got that furthest, but and that we have the sharpest, steepest drop in signal, basically meaning that obviously we had um, a stronger signal for longest, um, but again, due to poor signal, unable to cancel, return to home. So that's the end of the video. So now on to the conclusion. Right guys, I'm now home um, and again doing more tests with this uh, amazing Mavic Mini okay so what do I make of that test right so um, the test is quite interesting so even though we got around the similar sort of distance with all of them okay um, you guys can decide which you think would be best for you but for me I think the ones that are going to do it for me are the coppers okay um, the reason for that is Purely, they did get us the furthest, okay? And more importantly, the, the cutoff um, for the signal um, was a lot more quicker with these. And what I mean is, with the aluminiums, for example, we were struggling for signal for quite some time, okay? Um, whereas these just kept going, and then eventually, once we got too far, they did cut off. Um, the brass ones did perform quite well as well, but uh, my favourite are going to be the coppers. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, and catch you on the next video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe as usual, and see you again soon.